Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our review of the Plantronics GameCom 818 Bluetooth headset for your PC, Mac and your PS4. First of all, the audio for this review is recorded with the GameCom 818 mic. So I'm actually using this headset to record the audio for this review. Now it retails for $79.99 and in the packaging you have the GameCom uh, 818 and also you get this USB adapter. Now this is basically to allow you to plug into your PC, your Mac or your PS4 uh, and this is the uh, Bluetooth uh, transmitter unit. So basically on the transmitter you have an LED in the top and then you have a connect button if you need to pair your controller and um, that's that's pretty much what you get in the packaging now. Um, that will light up. Now for your PS4 uh, connections, uh, on the PC is pretty easy. You just plug it in and the drivers will update. But for your PS4, there are a couple of things you do need to do. You need to plug it into your PS4. Make sure you push it all the way through. And then when you go into your settings, you go into devices. And on the devices, you go to audio, not Bluetooth devices, because on Bluetooth devices, you only show your DualShock 4. You go into audio devices, and you can see your Plantronics 818 will show up as a USB input device as well as an output device. Uh, you can adjust your mic volume, so you can adjust the volume of the microphone to see how well it captures um, audio from you as you speak or chat. Uh, and then you can adjust the volume of the audio, so you can get here at the loudest possible volume. And then output to headset, make sure you select all audio and not just chat. Make sure it's all audio or else you will not get all audio to your uh, Gamecom A1A. But that's the PlayStation setup process. It's pretty simple. Now, um, looking at the headset itself, the Gamecom A1A has an all plastic build, the A1A. It, on the left ear cup, you do have some controls. You have a volume up and volume down. There are no individual volume controls for this. You do have a play, pause, and then skip button. So you can actually skip tracks so on your PC or your Mac. Power buttons behind and then there is a mini USB port for charging. Uh, hopefully we can switch to micro USB ports. Now the mic is a drop down mic on the left hand side and if you pull it back up it mutes uh, the mic. So it's a very simple system there. It says Gamecom on the mic. You can see around it's got, it's got that uh, velvet of uh, um, uh, cushions on the top band and the back. There's nothing on the right ear cup. It's a very light headset uh, and it's oh, these are on ear headsets so they fit on your ears. They don't go around your ears, over your ears. These are on ear headsets altogether. Um, but they are nice still even though they are, have a full plastic bill and that is $79.99 or basically $80 price range. You're still getting something that's pretty solid. Now battery life is um, 13 hours and it is solid at 13 hours. Now here's showing your side profile of how the headset will look on you and when it here you can see me just accessing the volume controls. There's an LED on the left hand side. You can drop the mic down. That's how it will look. Now as I mentioned these are still comfortable to wear for a, a long period of time. Uh, even though they're on ears, I'm not the biggest fan of on ear headphones but they still are comfortable because they're pretty light altogether and the battery life does last 13 hours. It takes about four hours to fully charge. Now before we round up this video let's take a sound sample of the 818 on the PS4 using the mic to record. So here's a sound sample of the Plantronics 818 on the PS4. Now this is a Bluetooth headset, so I'm using a Bluetooth headset on my PS4. And for the price at a $79.99 um, headset, this is pretty good. does a very good job. The mic is very audible, so which means people will hear you clearly while gaming. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues uh, there. Now, of course, this doesn't necessarily have separate chat and voice volumes, but uh, at this price range, you still still get something that's pretty good and solid overall. So you really can't complain if you're looking for something inexpensive, uh, wireless for your PlayStation 4 as well as something using your PC or your Mac. So anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and round up this review. So the Plantronics Gamecom 818 is a cost-effective and a very simple way to connect to your PS4 or your PC via Bluetooth in this headset. It's fairly comfortable, it's easy to use, it is set up, and it works fairly well. The mic also does a really decent job at it. And at its price range of $79.99, I think it's something you can easily pick up for your PS4 or, or your PC or your Mac if you're a Mac user and actually use. So that's pretty much it. I do like the headset, especially in this, in this price range. I think it do a very solid job and something you guys can go 
go ahead and pick up. Uh, if you're watching this video right at the same time I've uploaded, it's not available, but keep a lookout. I will have a link for you guys down below, either to plantronics.com or when eventually this headset is available. But this is an early review of the Plantronics 818 Gamecom 818 headset for your PS4, your Mac, and your uh, uh, PC. Have any questions, guys? Let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and favorite this video so we can make more videos for you. Do subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.